Hello, my name is Katie. You're on the channel Titty Red, and today I'm here with my Tome Topple TBR. Tome Topple is a readathon all about reading those big books. And this readathon was created by Sam from Thoughts on Tones. I really enjoy this readathon. Each time it comes around, it is always so much fun. And it is two weeks long, so it's longer than your average readathon, which is one week. So it gives you that little extra time to read those tomes. So, round seven of the Tome Topple Readathon will be taking place from the 16th of November to the 29th of November. So that is 14 days full of reading those big books. As always, there are five reading challenges, and these challenges do not change from readathon to readathon. They stay the same, and if I don't complete a challenge in one of the previous rounds, I generally bring the book to the next round, trying to get it finished. So, the first challenge for the Tome Topple Readathon is to read more than one tome. So, I'm really very much hoping to get this done. And my first tome I'm hoping to read is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Now, the second book in this duology has just come out, and that is Muse of Nightmares. It is a widely popular series, and I really, really want to get this book down so I can finish the series and really enjoy it because everyone seems to be enjoying it so much and I just haven't had a chance. It's so big and oh my gosh, I need to get this book read. <laughs> and Strange the Dreamer comes in at 536 pages. So to qualify for a time, it must be at least 500 pages. 536 pages makes Strange the Dreamer just over that threshold. The second reading challenge for Tome Topple is to read a graphic novel. And for this I have chosen to read the Buffy Season 8 Omnibus. I've had this in previous TBRs for my Tome Topple readathons and I just haven't gotten it done and I'm really upset about that because it seems really interested and I am such a big Buffy fan. So this is one that I am really hoping to get finished. And Buffy comes in at 592 pages. The third reading challenge is to read a tome that is part of a series. And for this I have chosen to listen to the audiobook of Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. I am doing a complete reread of the Throne of Glass series and I am up to Queen of Shadows leading up to Kingdom of Ash which I am so excited for. Now, Queen of Shadows is 648 pages, so it is well and truly a tome, and I'm so, so highly anticipating the reread of this book. The next reading challenge is to buddy read a tome, and for this I went on Tome Topple's Goodreads page, and there are a bunch of people interested in reading The Poppy War. I can actually get a copy of The Poppy War audiobook on script. So I'm planning on listening to the audiobook of The Poppy War as well and buddy reading it with other fellow participators in Tome Topple on the Goodreads page. And The Poppy War is 544 pages long. And the final reading challenge is to read a adult tome. So for this, if I complete all of the other books on my TBR because they are all quite lengthy. I'm thinking of picking up the audiobook for Outlander. Now I've read the novel before but I'm rather intrigued to see how it translates to audiobook. Now the novelization of Outlander is 850 pages. So the audiobook is approximately 32 hours, which is a big commitment. So I might get this done or I might not, I'm not too sure yet, but I am very intrigued to see how the audiobook of Outlander is going to go. That is it for my Tome Topple Round 7 TBR. I'm rather excited for majority of the books on this TBR. Let me know in the comments down below if you are joining in on the round 7 of Tome Topple and if you would recommend any of these books or have read them in the past or are interested in reading any of these books. And I cannot wait to start reading some of these enormous tomes. 
If you enjoyed this video, and I very much hope you did, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the like button if you would like. And for now, keep calm and read on. Bye!